Yeah, good day, my wonderful people. Special greetings to you according to your time. I still remain your man, Morris. Morris, where's the couple of You know? Yeah, we have a big, simple question to answer. And uh, the question is uh, from uh, one of our ladies, uh, Aisha Yusuf. You all know her. Yeah, and uh, the question is so wonderful for everybody. And uh, that question will come after you must have watched uh, the amazing statement from uh, the former Ekiti State uh, Governor, Fayoshe, what he said about Peter Obi. You know, so immediately after that, the question will come. Don't go anywhere because we'll have a lot of things to talk about after that question. You know, so just uh, take a look at this video for yourself. I will be right back. Thank you. I've told you, this Peter will be anybody who becomes president of Nigeria and does not, does not give a right of place. I'm not saying an appointment of Peter will be. Eh? Peter will be will remove that person from office in another election. Mark my words. So are you saying this same wave? This same wave will not stop. Be repeated. This same wave, this Peter will be the people supporting him, the Peter will be that I know. After this general election, they will continue. Even though the next cycle of elections is I in four years. I'm telling you. Yeah. So uh, I think at this moment, I'm going to ask you that question for you if you're Mr. Peter Obi's supporter. Are you going to give up? Are you going to go away? Are you going to move on? Or you are one of those that. Uh, go, former governor Ayo Fayoshe talked about that you're staying on on this journey and you're getting it, you know, down to where uh, it, it, it's, it's supposed to be and get the work done. Yeah, that's the wonderful question for you and I, the obedience, you know. Yeah, so I am uh, kind of uh, saying my own take now, and uh, just like what uh, you said, Aisha Yusuf, we are going nowhere, we know they're going anywhere. We tandag the bomb for here. I don't know if you're getting me. We are not going anywhere. Because you and I know that that better Nigeria, the better nation, better country is 100% possible. You know, so we are going nowhere. All of us tandag the bomb for here. You know, a proof, just to listen to this. I will be right back. Peter, 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 obedient son of the nation. Mr. P2B, rightest man to rescue Nigeria. P2B, for better living and better energy. Vote to be, for better future and better Nigeria. Vote P2B, my fellow Nigerians. Vote for P2B, vote for P2B, vote for P2B, for big and better restoration. Vote for P2B, with better vision for the nation. Vote for P2B, Mr. P2B for president. Yeah, you heard that right? Yeah, so we're not giving up on anything. We are not going anywhere. We're Tandagadibam for here. I don't know if you're getting me. You know that better Nigeria, better country, better nation is 100% possible. I don't know if you're getting me. Because if we have somebody like Peter B in the office, if we have somebody like Peter B as the president of the country, just, just, just go to sleep because everywhere will be good. I don't know if you're getting me. You know, during the campaign, he said a lot of things that happened during his uh, regime as an uh, Anambra state governor, how the system was uh, kind of uh, very dirty. But when he got in as the governor, he used the same people to make things happen in that same place. I don't know if you're getting me. He did not say he came, he, 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 he got into the office and started sacking people. No, it was still the same people he used to make things happen in that state. I don't know if you're getting me. So a lot of all, the, many of the departments that are not working in Nigeria, if we have somebody like P2P that is not ready to take your one Naira, that is not ready to steal your one Kubu, if we have somebody like that at the top, a lot of things will work. I don't know if you're getting me. A lot of departments, a lot of offices will start doing things the right way. Your judicial system, everything will just, everybody will, as a nobody will have any other choice than to do the right thing. So we are not giving up until we see that Nigeria that will work for everybody, both the rich, the poor, 
the old, the young, everybody. I don't know if you're getting me, because you and I know that it is 100% possible. So we are not giving up on anything. We die here. Now you talk up now, we die here. <laughs> You know, so Aisha Yusuf, that's my own take. And I still know, I so much know that a lot of other people have that same I believe, have that same strength, you know. So one thing I would just have to tell us the obedience is we do not have to wait for 2027 to start making preparations, to start uh, uh, getting ready for what is coming. I don't know if you are getting me, because as you are preparing, the other side is preparing too. So we are not giving up. We need somebody like P2B to come into that office so that Nigeria can work. You know, there are so many things, we, we, you know, that is one of the reasons why most of the time somebody like me says that we need somebody that has, as an, that is very, very agile to handle the affairs of the country. You know, because there are so much work to do. There are so much work to do on that country called Nigeria. So much work. You know, there is this video there is this uh, video I will put, I will, I will just uh, play for you now. One of the interviews from uh, the CEO of uh, APIS, Alan Onyema. I watched this video and I was, I was touched, you know. He said a lot of things in this video and I would like you to listen to that video, watch that, uh, watch that video yourself to see the reason why we have to do everything possible to have a better Nigeria. There are some stories, there are some things that will never come up from anywhere. I don't know if you're getting me. If we have people that will come out to, to stand and uh, talk about it, resolve the matter, you know? So just uh, watch this video for yourself. I will be right back. Thank you. Not giving their own airlines. It's not as if they are giving us and are not giving the foreign airlines. The central bank governor has always wanted to support the uh, indigenous operations. He's always calling on us to start international operations too, so that we could save money for the country. But the foreign nations are not allowing us to come to their country. You see, it, 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 it pained me when Nigerians, some agents, went on television criticizing the federal government of Nigeria as if, as if our government had failed because foreign airlines didn't get their funds. I support foreign airlines to get their funds. But the Central Bank of Nigeria didn't seize anybody's money. It's just that they wanted to get the exchange through the Central Bank official window. They could also go through I and E window, which is a little bit more expensive to get it. After all, Nigerians are paying through their noses to, to get this. And in the last 25 years, Nigerians have been paying more than any other country for commensurate miles compared to other nations. In the last 25 years, people from South Africa, nine hours flight to London, they have been paying less than Nigeria six hours. Pays. Nigerians will fly for six hours, they pay more than the person flying nine hours from Johannesburg to London. It has been there, so it didn't start today. It didn't start today. Nigeria signed BASA. The Bilateral Air Services Agreement provides for both repatriation of funds, but the most important aspect of BASA is reciprocity. These foreign airlines and their countries have they abided by that? Have they respected the BASA they signed with Nigeria? The answer is no. You know, the other time we fought, one of the countries from the Middle East, they were doing about 20 something frequencies to Nigeria, not even one to us. We had to fight for it. As I speak to you, UK is doing 21 frequencies into my country. They have not been able to respect APC's APS, uh, ordinary email. They even had the temerity to write us to say we should stop writing them. Whenever they are ready, they will get across to us. Why are Nigerians paying 2.3 million naira for economy tickets to go to London when APIS could have taken 500,000 naira for the same trip? Yeah, you heard uh, what he said, right? Yeah, that's uh, the chairman of uh, APIS, Alan Onyema. You know, he said a lot of things in that video. First, he said that uh, there are some foreign nations that are not allowing them to come to their nation. You know, that uh, statement is so loud and uh, it is not supposed to go like that. I don't know if you're getting me. That statement is not, is not something that is supposed to be swept under the carpet as usual. No. I don't know if you're getting me. It has to be followed up to find out why that statement. You know, and that is why I keep saying that um, we need people. We need vibrant people that will make things work in the country. 
you know, because uh, when all the departments, when all the people in offices, everybody's doing their job, definitely whatever thing that comes up, even if it is just a pin that fell to the ground, it will be, uh, people in charge of that department will follow it up to know why. I don't know if you're getting me. Alan Onyema said that there are some nations that are not allowing them to come to their own, uh, to their, to their own place and they are coming to our own country. Is it that the flights, is it that the, the airplanes, the air buses are different? Or what is the cause of that statement? Why did they say that? I don't know if you can understand exactly what, what this sounds like. But just like what I used to tell people, you know, when a stranger comes to your, your place, first of all, they will watch uh, your relationship with uh, your family. If you are the type that maybe when your children comes around, you say, you tell them, get out, idiot, come on. Will you get out from here in front of that stranger? At the end of the day, that stranger will first tell your children those things before you. And if you did not react, that is the same way they will keep treating your children. You know? So most of all these things are happening because of the way the, the leaders handle the, the people. That is why you see most of all these things. But when the people are taken seriously, whenever anything come up like this, you follow it up. Find out why. Have as in respect the people no matter whatever level and how would we have this kind of services we need better people in the office not that we hate anybody no we don't hate anybody we just want people that are capable to handle their affairs political seats of nigeria is not something that uh, by now as in people are supposed to be eyeing it because of the title or because of the name no 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 no, no. we are supposed to have gone way far beyond that i don't know if you are getting that so I do not want to say much. I just uh, wanted to respond to Aisha Yusuf and uh, bring up uh, some, let us see some reasons why we do not have to give up on fighting for that uh, better Nigeria. Just like what uh, Kenneth Okonkwo said, that that movement is a journey of no retreat, no surrender. We die here, we die here. You know, I do not want to say much. I still remain your man. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you so much for sharing our videos. Yeah. Do have a wonderful day.